what's going on everyone we are doing invasions around level 50 to 55 maybe 60 somewhere in there just random places I'm using Uji Katana some pyromancy which incantations whatever you whatever bloody slash art of war that I just used right there and you're gonna see it's really powerful for these lower level invasion and look at that combustion man I have the ring on that increases your cast speed so you can really let people have it and as I scale my build more towards faith which is what I think I'm going to do it's a little bit all over the place right now just trying different stuff now you find something new you want to try it and you don't want to be withheld or hold yourself back on your first playthrough to you know realize what's good for PvP but as I scale my build to faith I think the damage is going to be quite high on, on that spell right there and there's actually a, a uh, I think there's a, a something that increases your damage for the, the faith castings I don't know where it's at I just heard some people talking about it so that could be another useful thing um, right there so this is a little 1v3 here they're kind of preoccupied with some some bosses I so in my experience so far in PvP I don't really have a lot of trouble fighting like a lot of people, if they're like preoccupied with monsters, you're spacing them out, you're using line of sight. Um, in, in 1v1s, I'm fine in 1v1s. Um, it's, the, it's the issue with having like three people who are in a wide open area just waiting for you when you invade them. Basically gankers. And they're all, they all have like magic, they all have sorceries, and they're just spamming buttons like crazy. And, and when you go try to line of sight or take them somewhere, they've killed all the monsters or they won't follow you. Those are kind of annoying, and then I have ran across some people that had some pretty powerful stuff. Like I'm like, what is this stuff, you know? <laughs> so, but I do see the katana. It, it's pretty good. The running R1, I really like. It's really good for chasing people. The spell there that I just used, it's. Um, I think it's going to work its way out of my rotation. It's fairly good in PVE, but catch flame. And there's an upgraded version of Catch Flame you can find. Um, it seems to be a little slower, though. You can charge it up, but I, I think it, the speed in PvP uh, with Catch Flame is what's going to be important. I recently am, am going to be testing poise and stuff and how it matters because if you can win some exchanges, whether it's Pyromancy or with your Katana, that, that'll be key, too. But I still would like to keep the fast roll. And the combustion, I call it combustion, the catch flame and the running R1s from the katana, as you see there, it's really good at catching people who are back rolling. And when you get somebody 1v1 and their, and their partner basically is gone, they start panicking when you get them low. And they try to go back and heal. And in this clip right here, you'll see me try to start off with a backstab. Backstabs are kind of glitched right now. Um, they don't land a lot. I don't know how that's going to relate to when they fix it, but... From my understanding, it was glitched during the beta. Some people were testing it out, and it just wasn't working correctly like it should. So, if if it's fixed, that'll be good because you'll be able to punish some of these players who are playing kind of sloppy. It still won't be like Dark Souls one backstabs or even Dark Souls two backstabs, but I'm sure that uh, it'll be better than what it is, you know. So, other than that. Um, the bloody slash move set or the art of war is is very powerful it does a good consistent amount of damage I don't know how it will scale when you level up in the higher levels I find I use it better when it's in melee range I think it's more of a melee type skill instead of shooting from far away because I don't hit a whole lot of people and it's really good if you got both of them clustered up like if they're both um, chasing you and you get them like you're backed into a corner and you use it especially if they're a little low on life because um, it can do do some decent damage and you got the pressure of the bleed from the katana and then you're also got a really fast spammo on catch flame like if you're pounding back catch flames it seems faster than you just smashing R1 over and over and over so I don't know it's it's it, we'll see how it scales I did see the somebody using a uh, katana that has a special move art, weapon art that's similar to bloody slash but it's a special katana that's hard to get i can't remember the name of it but it it's pretty much like bloody slash on steroids so and i don't i don't really know how that bloody slash went through that guy's shield maybe it was lag maybe it was he dropped it for a second and it didn't pick it up but you can see some of the potential of this of this skill 
It's just landing it, and so it's it's a very uh, I would I would say it's a low risk, high reward type of move. So it's pretty powerful. Um, it costs a little bit of health to use, a little bit of FP, but here's a good example of the running R1 to finish somebody off when they're rolling away. Um, the, this the horizontal slash catches them pretty pretty good. So here we have, I thought it was going to be a 2v1, but these guys are wanting to deal. So we're going to start off with this guy. Not, I don't have any dueling experience other than what I've played in previous Souls games like Bloodborne and of course, Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1. I didn't really get into Dark Souls 3. Um, this game, to me, I mean, it feels like Dark Souls 3 some. But I feel a little Dark Souls 2 in it. Especially with, like, the power stancing. And uh, it, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of fun to me, to be honest. Like, I've enjoyed it. Even if I'm dying or getting spammed to death by sorceries. It's, it's been pretty fun. I'm um, trying to figure out new techniques. Right right now, it's all about, you know, is my weapon faster than yours? Is my, is my timing and spacing faster than yours or better than yours? And do I have something powerful that can do a lot of damage, say, like Bloody Slash? Or So I'm really hoping that Pyromancy or Fire Incantations can be very useful because that's, that's one of my favorite play styles. And here I'm using Lightning Spear. Lightning Spear, I found it. I, I can't remember where I found it. I, this game is so big, it, it's going to require multiple playthroughs for me to remember everything. I, I would have to Google it, but I found it. I, I've been basically going around open world and just looking for dungeons and exploring everything. I, this The exploration has been amazing. So, Lightning Spear is really good in PvE, like against bosses and stuff because you can charge it and then if you have that faster cast ring oh my goodness so it's made my life a lot easier in PvE because I needed a really good range attack and here's another example of that running R1 to finish somebody off running R1s are so good with that horizontal slash but lightning spear I did try it right there in PvP I haven't tried it a lot because it seems like it'd be easy to dodge but if you can get the damage high on that thing especially against other casters especially if they're spamming and they're spamming and you catch them with one like from a distance you can do it. It would seem like you can do great things with it. Look at this bloody slash right here. That's crazy. When they get too aggressive, that's what I like though. When you get too aggressive on me and I'm outnumbered, I deserve to have an ability that can just mop the floor with you. Maybe not this much, but <laughs> I'm sure there's. Uh, I've run across some stuff. Uh, that's been more powerful than this but this is for low level this is a pretty good skill um, I would recommend seeking it out it's um, I can't remember where I found it I think I found it in a fortress off a monster I can't 100% remember I'm not going to even try to tell you where I found it I, I don't know <laughs> um, my memory will get better due time but thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more pvp very soon please like and subscribe thank you